dick. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Oversized load, Jim. Holy, those things work. Uh, yeah. We did. We did. Well, we're up early this morning. Like an hour. 6.08 and we're out the door. Because I heard that there's a ship parked at the government docks with some yachts on it. So I wanted to get down there and do a drone video for my other channel, Lake Freighters and Boats. Well, we made her down here this morning. There she is there. Check her out, all that ship carrying all them yachts. Well, we're gonna wander on to work here and see what the day brings. We've still got uh, a half an hour or so before I gotta get to work. So I'm gonna go get some gas because the old gas is uh, getting pretty low there. So I'm gonna fill that some beaver up while we're out this morning. That's pretty neat. I thought they are all brand new, but it looks like a lot of them are used. Whatever, I don't know why you'd wanna transport a yacht like that when they're used. Like, well, somebody probably bought them and they're shipping them. That's what's probably going on. But you think you'd wanna go down, fly, get it and drive it home. That's what I would do. Frick. Yeah, you wanna ship my boat, Amazon delivery, Captain? Why wouldn't you? Yeah, let's go to the old reserve and get ourselves some fuelage. That's pretty friggin' decent right there. Friggin' right it is. Why wouldn't it be? Aw, oh, dick. That's a big ass boat. Then there's some big boats, Captain. It's just back down at the government dock there after work here, and there's still unloaded boats. And the inside of that ship is full of boats. So that was pretty good. But it's friggin' darn near time to go home, I'm thinking. Because it's hot out. It's 87, almost 90 out Fahrenheit for you Americans out there. It's been a pretty good day. It's nice and warm today. You don't have to complain about being cold. The old marina's starting to fill up over there. There's another barge. I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. Nah, you can't see dick. To the barge, you just gotta take my word for it. We're going down the river. I don't even know if I started a video to be honest with you today. Still waiting for parts to come in. Sold out of my first batch of t-shirts. The old t-shirts there I'm making sold out of uh sold out, so we got more coming. I'll tell you one thing, fans in Sarnia have supported me well for the lot for the first batch of t-shirts. So if there's any other fans or any friends out there that want a t-shirt, leave a comment down below. I don't normally see a train go uh, down Front Street, but there's one right there, just in case anybody wants to know. How you doing? Frank. Oh, there's a, look at, uh, a ship and a train, and all in one. See the barge behind the train? How's that for freaking decent? There you go. Double feature. And that shit ain't photoshopped either. The next day. Well, today on the Bilsa Show, I'm out. I uh, delivering myself uh, three shirts. And while I was out delivering three shirts, I picked up three more shirts. So there's just a steady flow of Bills of shirts coming in verbally through the word of mouth in Sarnia. I screwed up a shirt today. I put tube tube instead of YouTube. So I made it a failed shirt of my own. So I, I gained another shirt today I did. I figured right I did. And I put UU on this side. Why wouldn't I? And then I put, what did I put on the back of this shirt? I can't remember now. Know what I mean, Captain. That's what I put on the back of this shirt. So we're doing that today. So we're gonna take a ride up to Corona. It's hotter than Dick, so I'm just cruising with the old AC on, and it's just a nice day to be doing that. Mom's at home with Mel and her three friends. My house is a zoo. But I'm thinking today, I gotta go back and make three more shirts. Well, two for sure, because I'm waiting for some to come in. But I figured I might uh, take you on for the ride, and you can see how I make a shirt. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see that. Why wouldn't you? And then maybe I can stop talking about shirts for a while. Well, not really. Like any other YouTuber, I'm gonna keep plugging my own t-shirts. I wouldn't be very smart if I didn't do that, right? Leave your comments down below if you think I'm just cocked over. I could even just put cocked over. Cocked over. Just cocked over is better. Freaking right it is. Leave your comments down below let me know what you think. But we're gonna head out down here. We're going through Chemical Valley and we're gonna head out, go to Krenna, drop off a shirt for Roger and see where that gets us. Well, I'm back home in the office here. I'm just making a shirt. I'm making a couple shirts, actually. Sold a few more, like I told you there. And one of them is uh, Shorty3858. Hey, check him out on YouTube. He supported me today by buying three shirts, him and his buddies. So we're making three shirts for him. First one I'm making is just cocked over. The shirt's almost done, but I just got to heat press the old just cocked over section. You can uh, have an eye up. Too much shit around here. My office is turning into a nightmare, Jim. I got too much stuff going on. Can you see? Probably not. Frick. Oh, dick. You can barely see, there you go. But we got just cocked over here in the order that I want it. I normally just make all these right tight together like that. That way you don't use as much uh, material, eh? Because it's a, uh, you can go through quite a bit of material in here if you're not careful. So 
We're gonna give it a 340 Fahrenheit at 50 seconds on that one. And I just do one at a time because every shirt by the dirty old Bill says handcrafted. Figure right it is, but I'm looking for my roller. Here it is. Make sure you have one of these on hand because I noticed that it works really good when you have a roller. I might buy a, a little roller, but the big roller works better because it's a big word. Look at the size of that. Over. Hey, eh? it's not over until we say it is. This is just for you, Shorty3858. So remember, your shirt's been handcrafted by the dirty, rotten, old, stinky old Belsif. And everybody go over and subscribe to his channel because coming up, coming up, they're going to be doing a, uh, a Volvo turbo engine explode. So that should be pretty friggin' cool. I'd go check that out for sure. But there we go, we'll iron that down. And you're supposed to let it cool off a little bit, but the roller cools it off pretty quick because it's wood. And then we can just kind of pull her back, Jim. Look at that, eh? There's just. Just in time, we did. But I noticed with a Cricut machine, all this different font and stuff you have to buy, and I'm not into that, so I just use my Adobe Photoshop and do my own writing, and then Bob's a freaking uncle. But that's what we do. We just kind of do that and move on and keep going. So there's no sense in boring you, but I just wanted to get on here because I wanted to give him some thanks for buying three shirts today. Why wouldn't I? But we're gonna carry on here and we're gonna make three shirts, get them done. I got another order coming in. So anybody that's out of town and would like a shirt, get a hold of me by PM or email me at blind at kojiko.ca and we'll get you fixed up. We'll work out a deal depending on where you are. Figure right we will. I'm gonna carry on with this. I'll be back after this. Well, there we go. There's a finished product. For good old Jordy, just cocked over, Jim. So that didn't turn out too bad. But this is a real short video. Just wanted to show you me doing this, that, and the other thing on the old the old printing. But I do have some uh, printer paper, print heat transfer paper coming so I can do pictures and stuff like that. I'm hoping to make myself a new work shirt because I don't like the work shirts. But I'm gonna try to see what the old brother over there, the old brother from another mother, see if she can print out a photo paper or not. But, oh, look at Jim, what happened? We're waiting for more material out again, so we're gonna have to wait for that. I took the uh, the new drone out there yesterday, the my spare, and she worked good, she did. I see a Maverick Air 2S in my future because I have batteries and the batteries will work on that one, so I think I might go with one of them, but we'll have to see how the t-shirt thing turns out, we will, because I spent enough money on that. So hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing. Love y'all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.